lovelies, I hope you're all well. So Cricut have released this week's craft along theme and it is personalised Christmas. So personalised gifts, personalised decor, um, anything that's kind of personalised in relation to Christmas, obviously. Uh, so we've got a few projects for you today for inspiration. And our first one is going to be a Santa sack. So my elf I've got from Design Bundles and I will link to her in the description below. And I've also used elements from this Santa Sack SVG bundle, which again is from Design Bundles. And again, I will link to it in the description below. I've changed a few things. So my text here, I've changed to Samantha. And then I've just changed the text on my December. But everything else is from all those SVGs. So for my Santa sack, I'm going to be using iron on today. So of course I am going to come through and I'm going to make sure that I mirror everything. So for the majority of my iron on, I'm using Cricut Glitter iron on. And of course I'll use the Cricut Glitter setting. For my black layer, I'm using Fast Flex HTV, which is a three second HTV. I've done lots of tutorials on this and I just use the iron on setting. And then for my elf's face, I'm using a rose gold iron on. And again, I just use the iron on setting. So I've cut out and weeded all of my HTV now and I've got a hessian sack. Now this is not the easiest thing to work with. I got this from craftlengthsuk.com but they also do uh, kind of white cotton sacks as well uh, which are a lot easier to work with but I really like these. Because this is hessian, I'm not going to place my easy press directly onto it. It's just not something that I feel comfortable doing. So I will be using my heat protective sheet today. So I'm just going to come in and heat up areas of my sack just for about five seconds at a time, just to take away any moisture. So all my glitter iron on pieces are all Cricut glitter iron on. So I've got my Cricut Glitter Iron on here and I've got my Easy Press set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to do all these pieces all in one go. So I'm going to do them all together. So I am going to place my heat protective sheet over. As always, you want to give this about 10 to 15 seconds to cool down a little bit. So this here is Fast Flex. Now, Fast Flex is fantastic and it only takes three seconds to adhere. However, that's on a normal material. I've never tried it on the Hessian before, so I'll be interested to see how it works. So I've got my easy press set to 160 degrees Celsius for three seconds and we'll see what happens. Yeah, so as I suspected, that is, I mean, it is trying to stick, uh, but it's not quite there. So I'm actually going to increase the easy press. So it's still at 160 degrees Celsius, but I'm going to bring it up to 10 seconds. You know, you have to be fair with these materials. Normally, three seconds is plenty and it's on the cotton, t-shirt, bag, whatever. It's fantastic. This is very, very different to work with. So this is all Cricut Glitter HTV that's going on this here. So I'm going to press all of it at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds.
my next project, I'm going to be making a bauble. I'm going to make a name bauble and I'm going to be using basswood 116. So I've got four circles here. So my first circle is four inches. My second circle is 3.5 inches. Then we've got 0.75 inches and then we've got 0.5 inches. So I'm going to bring my 3.5 into my four inch circle. I'm just going to highlight, align and center. And then I'm going to do the same for these two. So just highlight, align and center. And then I just want to attach those just for a second while I bring them over. And we're just going to hide this one. And then all I'm going to do is highlight both of them. And I'm going to align and center horizontally. And it will just move this one round so it's sat on the top centrally. We're then going to click this top one again and I'm going to detach. I'm then going to hide that little circle. I'm then going to come in and I'm going to weld those two together. I can then bring back my other circle and I'm just going to highlight and slice. We can then bring back our smaller circle and again we're going to highlight and slice and we've then got our bauble. So I've got my text here, this is the font any door and I'm just going to make it slightly bigger and then I want to go to style and I'm going to change the style from regular to bold. And it just means we've got a little bit more to work with when we're cutting out our basswood. I then want to bring my letter space in. And then I just want to weld those together. The other thing I want to do is I want to go to my contour. And I'm just going to contour out my eye dot. I'm then going to go to shapes and let's just grab a heart. And I can then bring my heart in and I can make that my eye top. And then we can just highlight and weld. I can then bring it over and I'm just going to move it so it fits in and the, my each of my edges overlaps my bauble. I'm then going to highlight and I can weld everything together. I was going to use basswood, but I've just checked and I've run out of it. Uh, so I'm just going to use some Cricut Heavy Chipboard instead. So I've got my chipboard bauble cut out with my name. I'm just going to glitter this today, I think. I mean, there's so much that you can do, uh, but the person that I'm making it for loves a bit of glitter, so it's kind of appropriate. I think sometimes you have to think about that, is how you maybe would do something, especially for a gift, is not how that person would do it. So we're just going to come in with some glitter. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge and I've got the Nouveau Pure Sheen. Once our first coat is dry we can then come in with a second coat of Mod Podge and we can add some more of our glitter. So that's now all dry and I've actually come in and I've painted all around the edges just so it's kind of all set in together. I've got my deco patch satin varnish and the key to using this is you don't want to go in with thick layer you just want a nice thin layer and it will allow you to seal your glitter but you won't lose that nice glittery shine. So for my last inspiration, I'm going to be using the Cricut 
pre-made iron-on designs. These are fantastic. There's such a lovely range. We've only got a few of these available in the UK at the moment, uh, but they are beautiful and they're really nice to work with. So I just want to add some glitter iron onto that. So I'm going to come in with some Cricut Glitter Iron On. This is my text I'm going to use and my crown is just from Access. My font is the Adrena script. We can then go to Make It. And as always with Iron On, I'm going to make sure that I mirror in Design Space. And of course, because I'm using Glitter Iron On, I will be using the Glitter Iron On setting. So I've got my Cricut Iron On design here. This one is currently not available in the UK, but there are other ones available. We know a little girl who is part of our family and she is obsessed with pandas. So when I saw this, I just knew I had to get it and I knew who it was for. So once it's out of the packaging, you can see that we've got it on a transparent sheet. Now we're only gonna be using this part of the design today. I'm gonna to save these. So we're using both Glitter Iron-On and our Iron-On design and they both press at 340 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a great. So first of all, I'm just gonna come in and I'm just going to place my Easy Press down and I'm just going to hold it for about five to 10 seconds just to take away any moisture from my garment. So I want to come in and press my Glitter Iron-On first. So my Easy Press is set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. Because I haven't got any other designs on here, I don't need to put my iron-on sheet over. You want to let that to cool for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then we can just come in and peel away. Again, we're going to press this one. This time, because this is exposed, I am going to come in with my Cricut heat protectant sheet. So obviously this area is already preheated and it's still warm because we've been using our Easy Press to obviously put our glitter iron on down. But if you are going straight in with the iron on design, you want to make sure that you obviously preheat the area. We're going to come in, we're going to place our Easy Press over and we're going in at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 seconds and you want to apply a medium amount of pressure. So you don't need to be really strong about it but you do want to have both hands on your Easy Press and you want to be putting some pressure on it. We then want to turn our garment over and then we're going to come in again 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds and you just want to do this on the back of your t-shirt. But of course all the iron-on designs come with full instructions as always. You then want to leave this to cool for about two minutes. Once you've allowed it to cool for about two minutes, you're going to come in and we're just going to start peeling. And it's as simple as that. Absolutely beautiful. Some of these iron-on designs are stunning. And yes, you could use printable iron-on, but I just think they're nice and easy and some of them are super sweet. Mm -hmm. 